Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to tackle some problems that involve types of angles, including right angles and segments that are perpendicular to each other. So in this problem, we're given a circle, circle O, and we have uh, segment AB, which is perpendicular to segment BC. So let's just mark up the diagram when we have this information. So AB and BC are perpendicular to each other. Now I also know that ABO, angle ABO, is 2x plus y, and angle OBC is 6x plus 8. So I know that angle ABO plus angle OBC is equal to 90 degrees. Now I'm also given that angle AOB is 23 plus 90, and angle BOC is equal to 4x plus 4, and I know that the sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So we're going to take what's given and we're going to try to figure out what the measure of angle ABO is. Okay, so I said before that we know that ABO plus OBC is equal to 90 degrees. So I have angle ABO plus OBC is equal to 90 degrees. Angle ABO is equal to 2x plus y. Angle OBC is equal to 6x plus 8, so they equal 90 degrees. And I simplify that further and I find that y is equal to 82 minus x. So what I'm trying to do, I have a, a problem in that I have two variables and I need to solve for both of them. So I'm going to rewrite the equation in terms of one variable y. And then I'm going to substitute that into another equation, which we'll get in just a second. So the second equation we're going to derive from the assumption that we made about the diagram that AOC is a straight angle, it equals 180 degrees, and that we're given AOB and BOC combined to make that 180 degrees. So in my second equation, AOB plus angle BOC is equal to 180, I have angle AOB, 23 plus Y, plus angle BOC, 4X plus 4, is equal to 180 degrees. I simplify that further, I have 23 plus 4X is equal to 86. And then I take my value that I got from the first equation, and I'm going to substitute that in for the value of y. So now I have 23 times y, or 82 minus 8x, plus 4x is equal to 86. I distribute the 23, and now I have 1886 minus 180x is equal to 86. And then I can figure out that x is equal to 10 from that. So I have 180x is equal to negative 1800. x is equal to 10. Now if x is equal to 10, I can plug that value of 10 back in for x, and now I have y is equal to 82 minus 80, or y is equal to 2. So going back to the original question, what's the measure of angle AOB, or ABO? We know the equation is 2x plus y. I know that x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 2. So I know the measure of angle ABO is equal to 2 times 10, or 20, plus 2, or 22. In the second problem, we're given a diagram with uh, angle ABC, which equals 100 degrees. And we're asked to do some probability work. So the probability work requires us to think about ray BD and its placement relative to the larger angle of ABC. So the question is, what is the probability if angle ABC is 100 degrees uh, and ray BD is chosen at random between the sides of angle ABC, what is the probability that angle ABD is acute? Well, if we think about rotating this ray back and forth, we know that <clears throat> the only time that it's going to be acute is when the measure from here to here is going to be less than 10 degrees. I'm sorry, uh, greater than 10 degrees. So angle ABD is going to be acute when the measure, it's going to be in this direction, is going to be <clears throat> greater than 10 degrees. So I have ABD. So ABD is acute only when this line for BD is moving in this direction. And that's going to be 90% of the time. Because out of a 100 degree angle, 
This represents 10 degrees, and the balance represents 90 degrees. So I can say that ABD is going to be acute 90% of the time, or 9 tenths of the time. Next question is, when is DBC going to be acute? Now that's the same type of angle and the same type of problem, but in this case we're moving from this side. So it's only going to be DBC will be acute only when this value here, and this is ray BD, is going to be greater than or 10 or greater uh, degrees, or greater than 10 degrees. And that's going to be 10 degrees out of 100, or in the case um, for DBC, it's going to be 90% of the time again. So it's not going to be acute for only 10 out of 100 degrees, and it is going to be acute for 90 out of 100 degrees. All right, the next question asks us, when are both ABD and DBC going to be acute? So back to the original diagram, I know that uh, angle uh, ABD will be acute 90% of the time, or when it is not in this area here. Because if BD is in this area, then I have an angle ABD which is going to be greater than 90 degrees. Now I also know that DBC is going to be acute when BD is not in this area as well. And this arc length here is 10 degrees. So out of the total arc, or measure of the angle, uh, ABD and DBC are not acute uh, in 20 degrees. So that means that 2 tenths of the time ABD and DBC are not acute. But the question asks us when are angle ABD and DBC acute? So that would be in this section here and that would be 80% of the time or 8 tenths of the time or 4 fifths of the time.